let me be very clear about live performance. Without my audience, I'm a dead man. I need my audience. They do not need me. Every time I travel, and I step on a stage, and there is a, an audience there, and that can be one person, it is as though, to me, I get to live another day. I get, it means that uh, the death sentence has been commuted. The joy in the presence of my audience is full, absolute, and complete. I love and need my audience. I need their affirmation desperately. That's not to say I'm panicky about it. They have the right to reject what I offer, and I have the right to let that rejection break my heart. They do not need to love me. I love them enough for the both of us. We're all set. I get lost crossing the street And I can't find my own two feet But I love my baby and she thinks I'm sweet I must be doing something right She's intelligent, patient, hardworking and shrewd I'm sarcastic, bombastic, lazy and rude But we burn it up when we get in that mood I must be doing something right Finally there's a crystal sunrise Finally the world is fair all the love that I've kept hidden from the moon is finally ours to share. There are plenty of guys she could find, good-looking, rich, and not out of their minds. But all oh, good news, love still blind, and I must be doing something. Oh, and I must be doing something. Oh, and I must be doing something right. That's an older song of mine, pleasant enough. Thank you. Now it sort of morphs into this song, which is a newer song of mine, which is actually on my, uh, my latest CD, which is called Last Alaska Moon. And this song's called Everybody's Just Like Me. And it goes along smartly and eventually gets to a bridge where I was stuck for a lyric. And then after, oh, about three weeks of searching, I finally was able to rhyme in the first bridge the word cola and shoulder, cola and shoulder, and I was so proud of myself that when the next bridge came around, I rhymed the word sent ya with against ya. It says everybody is getting so kept Bust in a move, biting their lip Light as a feather, cool as a breeze Everybody I see is just like me Everybody's rising in the morning Taking a snooze beneath the tree Whoa, picking up a dime Laying it on the line Everybody's just like Yeah. 
Everybody's rising in the daylight Laughing out loud cause they're free When you leave it all alone The train will take you home Everybody's just like me Easy stroll down the boulevard With the one you love on your arm Ain't it grand when life ain't so hard Sipping a cold uh, sun on your shoulder Everybody's grooving to the new sound And getting just as high as they could be I don't think they're gonna stop Cause they're living at the top Everybody's just like me First date, Saturday night All nervous with those shaky knees she smiles when she sees ya, she squeezes you tight. The dream that they sent ya, pressed up against ya. Everybody's thinking they're lucky. Cause if they're here, it means they won the lottery. So pop that fine champagne, raise up a little cane. Throw out the umbrella, dance barefoot in the rain. Make them call the cops, prove that you're insane. You're going to be what you were meant to be. Everybody's just like me. Fit as a fiddle. Little thick around the middle, oh, they're just like me. They like to sing and shout, often mistaken, never in doubt, oh, they're just like me. My basic musical influences, I tend to like very exacting um, uh, writers. Backrack, Burt Backrack, Hal David, um, Lerner and Lowe, uh, Rogers and Hammerstein. Um, I like it pretty precise. It's not to say that I don't, uh, uh, that I, that I dislike the blues or, or but I, I must say I love formal writing and I tend to be a rather formal writer myself. Well I'm a sucker for this sort of stuff and I was, uh, I was watching TV and I was watching an old movie uh, uh, Meet Me in St. Louis, Judy Garland starring and uh, music by Ralph Martin, Hugh Martin and Ralph Blaine wrote the score, and of course, from that movie. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. But I'm not gonna play that song now. First, the time's not right. Secondly, that one's been worked to death. This is another song from that score. <sighs> With her high starched collar and her high top shoes, and her hair piled high upon her head. She went to lose a jolly hour on the trolley and found my heart instead. With my light brown derby and my bright green tie, I was still the loneliest of men. I started to yen, so I counted to ten. And I counted to ten again. Clang, clang, clang with the trolley. Ring, ring, ring went the bell. Sing, sing, sing went my heart strings. From the moment I saw her, I fell. Chug, chug, chug went the motor. Bump, bump, bump went the brake. 
bump, 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 went my heart strings. When she smiled, I could feel the car shake. I tipped my hat, she took a seat. She said she hoped she hadn't stepped upon my feet. She asked my name, I held my breath. I couldn't speak because she scared me half to death. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Plop, plop, plop went the wheel. Stop, stop, stop went my heart strings. As I started to leave, she took hold of my sleeve with her hand. And as if it were planned, she rode on with me, and it was grand to stand with her hand holding mine till the end of the line. A very strong influence for uh, for my family, my brother James, my sister Kate, and little brother Hugh, but our oldest brother Alex was bringing in where my parents had brought in the Broadway influence in the popular. We were just getting off the radio as anybody would. Uh, our brother Alex brought in um, a lot of. R&B tonalities, Elvis Presley, Ike and Tina Turner, Bobby Blue Bland, Ray Charles. These, these sounds were coming from our oldest brother, Alex, and they had a, uh, uh, they, they had a profound influence on us. And uh, the other thing that Alex did was Alex had a band. We were raised in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and Alex had a band. And he went to a frat house one time with his band, and I remember him coming home, and he had made 20 or $30, something like that, probably 20 bucks. And that really impressed me. I thought, whoa, wait a minute, you can make money doing this? And that, that, uh, that was not lost on me. And so it, it really, from, then, from that point on, became a viable option, uh, particularly for me because I was such a terrible student. I did poorly in school. Um, I didn't like school much, and it didn't like me. All right, now I'll tell you how Irving Berlin saved my, if not my life, certainly Bail saved my butt. <laughs> I was writing a song, and the song I started, the song is called... There you are again. That's the melody. The lyric is, There you are again. Beep, 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 beep. And I, oh, I just love the way that felt. So I'm right, I wrote that. And then I wrote the next line. There you are again in the rustling leaves of a summer storm. This is rotten. This is the worst lyrics ever written by ever anybody anywhere in the history of the entire universe. I hate myself. Uh. Bless you. <laughs> so, there I am, stuck. And all of a sudden, a vision came to me, and the vision was Irving Berlin. And it was in the 20s sometime, and I don't know when or where. But in this vision, Irving Berlin had just written a new song, and he walked into the Broadway producer's office, and the Broadway producer was, as you would expect, a rather hefty, not-so-pleasant fella smoking a big cigar. And Irving played him. God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her with the light through the night from above, from the mountains to the prairies, and he's playing to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. And so the producer, because nobody had ever heard this song, we of course have heard it thousands of times, so it's completely Standard for us. 
But this was the first time the song had ever been heard, and the producer said, you know, Irving, I like the song, but I'm not sure about the word foam. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I'm crazy about the word foam. At which point, Irving Berlin, unlike me, riddled with self-doubt, this was not a problem for Irving Berlin, and he scrunched up his face, and he looked at that producer, and he said, do you think for one instant that I don't wish I were a better songwriter and did not have to use the word foam. <laughs> Do you think for one instant that I didn't go through every single lyric from the mountains to the prairies to my garden filled with loam, from the mountains to the prairies to my bald head which doesn't need a comb? He, I went through them all and this is the one I decided on and if you got something better for me, then bring it along, but other than that, this is what it is, and we're moving forward. <laughs> and the producer said, foam will be fine. <laughs> nice job, Irving. So that was my vision, and I realized that there you are again. If Irving Berlin could stand up, for his weaker lyrics, if he could advocate for his compromise, why can't I? <laughs> I believe in actual, in the clear, the concise, and the factual. All of life has reason, and it should be clear to see. But when the crowds all drift away And we are apart for one more day In the most peculiar places You're where you should not be There you are again the rustling leaves of a summer storm in my favorite chair all safe and warm in the wish that a child believes there you are again when light returns to the morning sky when two lovers cannot say goodbye when a movie makes me cry when the perfect story ends there you are again do i ever get over the feel of your touch the sound of your voice, the scent of your hair, your quiet reminder to not be afraid when you promise you'd find me somewhere. There you are again till I forget to close the door and the heartache's in and I'm damned I'm sure to each day miss you more when I think I can't endure there's a whisper in the wind there you are again A good musician knows what to play. A great musician knows what not to play. So what you get when you play with great 
musicians is they give you these little, you know, uh. you know, you think about a Michael Jackson when he's, when, and I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there, just call my name, I'll be there, and then Michael Jackson goes, don't you know, baby, yeah, yeah, and that little, uh, that becomes the signature of that song, and that was, and that was, uh, again, Michael Jackson knowing uh, what not to do and, uh, and just waiting, biding his time and just ripping off that lick, which is now an integral part of that song. It's fine. with you heart and soul the way a fool would do my be because you held me tight and stole a kiss in the moonlight heart and soul I begged to be adored lost control and tumbled overboard badly that magic night we kissed there in the moon mist, my but your lips were thrilling, oh much too thrilling, never before were mine so strangely willing, but now you see what one embrace can do, look at me, you've got me loving you madly. That magic kiss you stole took all, took all my heart and soul. I had me a girl bright as sunshine, sweet as candy, smart as a book. She rubbed my shoulders at the end of a long day, and my, she sure could cook. Always laughing for the sheer joy of living, she heard my stories right through till the end. Always looking. For a new way of giving, she even liked my mama and my no good friends. Now me, on the other hand, I wasn't that pleasant. Mad at the world and mean most of the time. When God gave me beautiful daylight, I covered up my eyes so I could stay blind. She said she couldn't take any more, and she cried as she walked away. Now I'm alone in the dark, and if she comes back, there's only one word I'm gonna say yes, oh yes, I'm gonna say yes when my baby wants something, whoa, if she wants to come back to me. My hands are down and my eyes are wide open. I sit on a bench, I got nothing but time. I pity the fool who's surly and cool with the woman who thinks he's fine. I hate to think how much he'll be hurting when she stands up and drops off the key. Well, I can tell you one thing for certain. If he learned anything from me, he'd say yes, oh yes. He learned to say yes when his baby wants something. You ought to learn a little lesson from me. I learned so much in the absence of her touch. I've got a PhD in doing it wrong. There's only one rule in lonely school. Life is a one-word test. And the correct answer is yes, 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 yes. 
Oh, yes, you got to say yes when your baby wants something. Hmm, you got to learn a little lesson from me. Yes, 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 say yes when your baby wants something. Oh, learn a little lesson from me. Start learning from me. Say yes. What music allows is music allows us to have intimate relationships in safety. We're able to communicate back and forth with people. Uh, as I, I have this little thing I do with my students, I say, well, can you imagine me walking out on the street here, the street of, uh, of uh, Cedar Burke or Milwaukee, and just walking around, walking up to various people and going, hi, um, I think you're hot. I'd like to touch your body. And if you did that to a couple of people, uh, the police would be called, and they'd say, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Because I'm uh, dressed reasonably well. Oh, I thought those people were hot, and I wanted to touch their bodies. And at which point, the police go, you, sir, you cannot do this. And if you keep doing it, we're probably going to take you to jail. Anyhow, you're certainly going to show us some identification, and we're going to run you. But, uh, but um, uh, and if I continued, I would go to jail. Whereas you go, ah. You're hot. I want to touch your body. You could play, you could be funky, beat up, dirty, drooling, uh, uh, unpleasant on all imaginable levels, playing a bucket on the street. And not only will you not be arrested, people, if you uh, will put money into a shoebox in front of you if you leave it there. So, so what tonality does, what rhythm does, is rhythm allows us to have a way to bond to one another. This is absolutely essential for uh, young people who are in the process of transitioning from the vertical integration of their families to the horizontal integration of their peer group, which is who they're going to work with, be with, compete with, and above all else, it's who they're going to mate with. And that's how you have to, that's what you need to figure out, is how you're going to be of service in your peer group, and music is a bonding agent for that. Very, very important. Imagine the gods all-knowing and wise Seeing my need behind my sad eyes And knowing how lonely this poor heart has been Please hear my plea And let my true love in
arms are around you. Smile when I come through the door. Laugh because it's so right with you on this perfect night. No. Thing. You know, I, 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 uh, uh, that's a song that I wrote with a, with a woman by the name of, uh, who's named Carol Bear Sager. She's a wonderful uh, songwriter. And, and I, uh, 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 Carol, she's a very uh, uh, sort of forceful person. She's about this high. And, uh, and I played her that song. I played uh, uh, that song for her, and it was unfinished. And I played it for her over the telephone. She said, come to California right now. Come to Los Angeles, right now, we'll write that song. And it was, uh, we had so much fun. As the last uh, tune uh, on the piano, uh, this is a song, and um, uh, this is a song, there are many songs written, and indeed most songs are written for that age group between the age of, of 14 to about 46. And I call this group, this group is called Breeders and they are uh, engaged in the prime directive, which is reproducing the species. And uh, most songs are written about them, as it should be, because um, uh, it's just they're doing uh, God's work. They're out there uh, perpetuating the species. Congratulations. And all the machinations that go along there with. This song is not for them. <laughs> they are well represented. This song, it's called Best of Friends, and it's for people who have been together forever. We're the best of friends, heart and soul, head to head. Toe to toe, I'm not letting go. For the best of friends, I thought you knew that the best I am is beside you. Wear a couple of comfy shoes. Ooh, together we're a pipe dream. Spoken about all the things we'll do. Oh, together we are wishes. My, aren't we delicious? Coming true. We're 
We're the best of friends. Are we wise? Thinning hair, fuzzy guys. Your face is my best surprise. We're the best of friends. I'm here to say it was me and you the whole darn way. Thanks for the chance to play. Together we are magic, together we are mystery, I think we may have sold. Oh, together the world is brighter, lovers, fools, and fighters on a road. We're the best of friends, the drift, the sway, the give, the take, the day to day, a bit in each other's way. And when it's time to let you go, at the last we both will know that it started long ago. With a simple, quick hello, hello, we're the best of When I look at young people, there's only one way that this is going to transfer here today, and that is they are going to teach me because they know, see, and are the future, and I am the past, and I will drink in their view of what's to be, and I will be honored, complimented, and delighted to be in their presence and to take away from them uh, a glimpse of what's coming up. This seems a little strong, but uh, it, it's just, so just one note, boom, pop in. Sing the song with just one note. And again, not to the microphone, right to them. They're the ones who you gotta tell this story to. Good, good. Walking up the hill tonight when you have closed your eyes. And what I do, it's, I make sure, I make darn sure, I'm amongst you, and I'm advocating for myself. I want you to see me. I need you to know me. My name is Livingston Taylor. Livingston, like the guy who walks in the jungle, Taylor, needle and thread. I need people to remember who I am. And I need to make it easy. If they don't know who you are, they will not find you again. If you do not advocate for yourself, nobody will advocate for you. How was that, guys? Was he with you all the time? Was he watching his notes land? Did, he get a, did you get the sense that his instrument and his simple melodies were a way that he could stay bonded to you and watch what was happening to you? Because that's the sense I got. I got to tell you, if you were in my class and I saw that performance, you would get an A plus from me. That was exceptional performing. You were present. You were clear. Now reintroduce yourself one time, one, one problem there. I'm John Garrett Key. 
What is he? Is he asking us who he is or telling us? Asking. Don't ask who you are. We don't know. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Perfect. Done. Now I'm back to you because stage time is so hard to get. It's so rare. You never want to waste an instant of it. <laughs> Who's going to be your ally? Who's going to be a problem? Strum your chord. Still, now still your strings. B b mute your strings. Be still. Yeah, put this hand. Still your strings. Watch them. And now break. Now, now break the spell. Break the suspension. Just like that. <laughs> and then, oh, for me, some applause and some noise, please. Thank you guys. So, don't show me the blue. Show me the stars. Don't let me hear melodies softly on guitar. Not a tear they'll ever keep. Keep these things away. Nobody will break me. Nobody will shake. Just watch it all the time. I'm just watching you guys like hawks. By the way, do you think it's cool? Do you think that I think it's cool that I can play the guitar? You have no idea. <laughs> the idea that I can lift this thing up and go, which means I don't have to work for a living. <laughs> This is the good stuff, guys. This is why, if you want to be a storyteller, and that's what you are when you go on stage. And actually, that's what you will be regardless. To be a storyteller is a wonderful thing to do for a living. Let me be. Clear, Isabel, yes, I'm a professor at the Berklee College of Music in Boston. I've uh, taught there now for 21 years. I teach a class that I wrote called Stage Performance, which is how to get an audience to suspend their reality, enter your reality, and find that reality attractive, safe, and compelling enough that they will want to re-suspend, re-enter, and pay to do so. I want my okay. students to oh, be successful. And what I say to them is, listen, above all else, I want you to be happy. If you can't be happy, then I want you to be rich. 
under no circumstance do I want you miserable and poor. If you're going to be miserable, be rich. Trust me, your parents agree with me on this one. Over, under, in and out. Up, down, and round about. You're one in a million. I'm nothing and free. And anyone can see. You're the boss of me. I like it that way. We go to fancy restaurants. I want to pay. We ride upon your pony. I sit in the back. You're the boss of me. I like it like that. You're the boss of me. I like the way you dress. I'm standing at attention. I'm ready for your test. Make the questions real hard. If I pass, we'll play. You're the boss of me. I like it that way. Some guys like to be in charge. They push everyone around. They love listening to themselves. Their voice is their favorite sound. Me, I'm an engine, open and low. But don't kid yourself. Step on the gas. We're gonna get up and go. You're the boss of me. I'd like to touch your skin. But I'd never ever do it without your permission. Oh, big, big bear, itty bitty kitty cat, you're the boss of me. I like it like that. Oh, if your way is wet. My coat's your mat. If you want to be alone, well, I'll just get off the couch, turn off the TV, and scat. I would like to be the first to apologize at the end of a spat. If you don't like them, to me, they turn into a dirty rat. You're the boss of me. I like it like that. We're approaching the uh, end of this evening's program. And before I get to that sad juncture, I'd like to take a moment and do a more traditional folk song for you, if I could. Railroad Bill was a hard-living man, used to take his women two at a time. Everyone agreed he was the baddest engineer to ever motor down the Santa Fe line. His name was known from the folks back home to the tippy top of Telegraph Hill. And all the little boys, when they were sneaking cigarettes, would dream of the railroad bill. One day Bill was walking along and he saw a kitten stuck in a tree. When he saw what's the matter, he ran to get a ladder to set that kitty cat free. Bill said no, 
Ain't gonna do it, ain't gonna climb no tree. This is a stupid song and no folk singer's gonna make a fool out of me. One day Bill was walking along and he saw a kitten stuck in a tree. When he saw what's the matter, he ran to get a ladder to set that kitty cat free. Bill said no, ain't gonna do it, ain't gonna do what you said. This is a stupid, stupid song, and as far as I'm concerned, that cat can stay there till it's dead. I said, wait a minute, Bill, you can't argue with me. For God's sake, I just made you up. I got the pen in my hand. I want you up in that tree, and I want that cat unstuck. Bill said, no, I hate cats. I ain't gonna climb for no cat. Perhaps I could rescue a beautiful woman who's been tied down on the railroad track. I said, maybe there'll be room in the eighth or ninth verse, but right now I want you up in that tree. I'm the writer, damn, I've got the pen in my hand, and you're supposed to listen to me. He said, you asked, why should I listen to you? You should listen to me instead. I'm a railroad man, and if I were real, I'd separate your face from your head. You ungrateful brute, I cried, you've pushed me too far. I gotta show you I can do as I please. Then an earthquake came and shook the whole terrain and brought a railroad bill to his knees. And a tidal wave broke and everything got soaked and Bill was almost completely washed away. And a big green monster from the planet Neptune landed and bit railroad bill on the leg. I got the pin in my hand. I can do what I want. I'm a bright young talent on the rise. So get your ass up that tree or I swear you're not going to get out of my folk song alive. You don't scare me, you might be funny, but you don't scare me. If you don't leave me alone, I'm gonna tell everybody where you stole this melody. But before he could speak, his tongue fell out. He could not make a sound. He jumped on me, he grabbed me by the neck, and he pulled me to the ground. He hit me in the stomach, and he hit me in the face real hard, and I think he almost broke my nose. Just then a lightning bolt came out of the middle of the Nord, hit him right between the eyes, and killed him instantly. The cat came down from the tree, had a bowl of warm milk, and went to sleep for the night. Railroad Bill is survived by a wife and three lovely children. Dear God, I love to ride. I'm drawn to all manner of tonality, and indeed I'm drawn to all manner of sound. I don't know whether I'm just um, uh, uh, hypersensitive to sound, but as I sit here, for instance, now, we're listening, we've got, um, we've got probably 50, 55 dBs of white noise. There's a hiss coming through these monitors. So I've, I've got that when you're in real silence, it's magnificent. I'm a real connoisseur of silence. Interesting that I should like uh, music so much because I love silence so much. And it's so difficult to find. Silence, as I'm fond of saying to my students, is the canvas on which we paint. When all the world is a hopeless jumble And the raindrops tumble all around Heaven opens a magic lane When all the clouds darken up the skyway There's a rainbow highway to be found Leading from your window
just a step beyond the sing this with me and I want it to be just a whisper, just a whisper. I know the lyrics, we'll get it. Dang, you guys are good. I love you. Night, everybody.